Hello everyone. I thought I'd show you a very, very early prototype just to show you how I create prototypes and what my thoughts are as I'm creating them. So this is, I guess you could call it the game I created because Space Engineers wasn't engineering enough. So this has a much, much heavier focus on engineering. This is a super early prototype, so it's all still programmer art and largely non-functional, but um, in terms of being able to add stuff in as the player and so on. But all of the pieces that are needed to create the game are there. All of the all of the weird stuff is there. After this, it's just a long haul if I want to create the game to actually implement all that crap. Anyhow, the three things that make it different from a game like Space Engineers, well, the first of those three things is that there is a very rigid supply chain. So here you can see we've got gas that flows through that supply link into this pressurizer, this pumper, which flows through that supply link into the small tank, which stores it at a much higher pressure, which flows through that link and then out the back of the ship to provide propulsion. So there's a very strong uh, element of linking, and that's true for everything. If you use a lot of electricity, then you'll need a link to the electrical system. Uh, small amounts of electricity are okay. You don't you don't really need to worry about that. Um, and all of the all of that stuff works uh, via link chains, and that's true with these programming elements as well, because that's the second half of this. Uh, what's different between it and something like Space Engineers? These program elements override the default behavior of whatever they're attached to. So this gas pump system pumps gas, but first it goes, oh, do I have a program element attached? Ask it whether I should pump gas. And the program element says, well, they are not pressing E, so no, you shouldn't. And then when you press E, it pumps gas. So these program elements can be pl plugged into other program elements, and in turn, the, uh, the system will just continue to chain ever more complexly as you need it to, which allows you to create some very complicated program systems, uh, whatever you'd like. The other thing, the third thing of the three things that set it apart, is that there's a data system. Uh, and the reason that data is different from programming is because programming is logic, whereas data is just pure content. Um, so data can do things like arrays and stuff, whereas you wouldn't want to do that with asking simple logic questions. Anyhow, this is a control seat, which it doesn't look like it, but it is. And I'm currently sitting in it. It doesn't look like it, but, it, but I am. Uh, which means that there, this uh, particular seat has a lot of data outputs based on what I'm doing in the game. And most importantly, how I'm moving the camera. So when I'm in this control seat, anything getting a data stream from the data chair, from the control chair, Unknows, it knows where I'm pointing the camera. So if I go up here to this vectored engine, you can see that the vectored engine tries to point in the same direction as the camera. But there is a maximum amount of vectoring it can do. It maxes out at 45 degrees. That's something that can be set via simple, uh, simple arguments. So you can create your own um, or modify the existing modules later. Later on, it'll be very easy to mod. I plan to use uh, vertex, or vertex, um, voxel art for these pieces. I'll plan to replace all of these 3D models with vo voxel art and the players will be able to create voxel art as well so it should be possible to create your own visuals as well as your own customized functional modules. Um, anyhow, this does work so uh, now obviously the amount of gas stored in that tiny compressor isn't up to the task of a long-term uh, you know, propulsion but if I hold down both Q and E at the same time I can pump while I fire at the back, and it'll equalize at about one and a half force. So this is how I build prototypes. And this prototype, uh, I really like the ideas behind it. I don't know whether or not I'll actually develop it. I suppose it depends. There hasn't been a whole lot of interest in um, for science, so I may start doing this for a while instead until, uh, I mean, I'm not going to totally shelve a project that is actually functional, but this does seem like it would be cool, and it's also compatible with for science, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do this for a little while, uh, refresh my brain, and see whether or not people are more interested in this kind of game. 